Okay guys, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way that we can prime the flow tracks. We're gonna do it in real time. This is for setting up uh, with the computer automated software for doing the PM. I'm gonna show you guys how to easily and quickly prime this guy and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna continue on with the PM procedure. So you can see right now I have the line. I'm gonna connect it to the side. It says prime required. So we're gonna make sure that the occlude is open. We're gonna to go to function. I'm going to hit flush. So now what that's going to do is that's going to stop the air bubble from forming in the circuit. And then we come over here to this guy and you depress this button and you push in on the white thing. And that will instantly create flow. And here you can see the air bubbles moving through my line. It's doing its thing. All right. So now that I know I'm getting some of these out, I'm going to go ahead and put the line up like this. Because remember, we don't want this line to be going downward. It's going to create a siphon. So that can now stay there, all right? And you can see the air bubbles coming out. Coming out, coming out, coming out. We're just going to let that run for a moment because there's a lot of air in this little circuit right here. Okay, I got plenty of fluid in my bag. There it goes. And by squeezing the bag, I'm creating a little bit more head pressure. All right, so now I think that's the last of my air bubbles. All right, so now that I'm pretty sure I got the last one, I'm gonna press exit. Okay. We're gonna close the door, then open the door. And what that does is it pinches off on your tubing, all right? We connect our line, and now what we've gotta do is we gotta prime it, all right? So the first step is just getting the air out of the system. Now we know the air's out, now we're gonna prime it. So to prime it, we push in on the white thing. You see, it's running. I'm not touching nothing, it's just doing its thing. You see it says prime required, prime required, and then it's gonna go away. There it goes. Okay. So once you see that prime required goes away, close the door. Now we're gonna hit reset flow. There was still quite a bit of air in there. You see it did it all automatically. I didn't need the new, no syringe, no nothing. Okay, pressure zero. Okay, now we're at zero. Now we're ready. So we're gonna continue on. I'm on patient side occlusion. Let's see, I'm just gonna use this guy. This is load prime set. Okay, so right now my occlusion's open. Okay, now once we get 0.4, then we can occlude it. And here's the pressure. You see it says 10.68. We gotta get between 7.7 .7 and 12.7, that's perfect. 10.68. We'll click on next. So now we can go ahead and open the occlusion back up. It's a very important step. Okay, load, which we already have. Okay, so now it's the fluid side. So that's the upper side of the PCA pump here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till 0.4 is infused. Okay, now we got our 0.4. Now what you do is you crimp the tubing and you want the upper sensor right here to detect that it, there's an occlusion, and there it goes. Okay, it says a pass, I'm gonna finish. Now we do rate accuracy. All right, and here is where this guy's really gonna shine. So I'm gonna reset the flow. Okay, we're all at zeros. Expected volume is gonna be 12 milliliters. So we go next. And it starts doing this thing. Look at the resolution on this guy. We got ten hundreds, thousands of a milliliter. That's really, really fine detail. Okay, I'm at two milliliters, yep. So right off the bat, I can tell you if it's going to pass or fail based on the progression of the two scales. So we're at three milliliters, I'm at 3.3, 3.5. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit reset. Okay, we're at zero. 
Click next. Now we're going for 12. And I already know that it's gonna be really, really close just based on that, that uh, four milliliter sample. Point three, yep. So it's falling right in line. And this is what's really nice about this system is I don't have to disconnect and reconnect the bag line right here. I can leave the the pump connected and I don't have to goof around with it. Just occlude and unocclude and continue on with the test. Five point five, yep. It's going to be just a little bit under. So I'm shooting 7.3 something, 7.39 when it said that I should be shooting 8. So it's going to be a little bit low. Ten milliliter, okay. Okay, so it says here I need to be 11.59 to 12.41. You can see right here uh, I got 11.54, so it was a little bit low. So when this happens, what we gotta do is we check to make sure there's any air on the line, check your bag height, and also make sure that there's no occlusions on the output side. And we are gonna go ahead and rerun the test and we should get a pass result from there. If not, we gotta recalibrate the, the module itself, which is probably what should happen here anyway because this was pretty exact, so. In this case, I would say that module is probably just shooting low naturally in its programming. Should probably be reprogrammed. But uh, here we go. Simple as that. We don't have to disconnect the line. We don't have to use a syringe to prime it. We just depress the um, the occlude that's built into the set itself, and then open it up. Run your flow. When the flow is done, then you go ahead and prime it by doing the exact same thing. So you don't have to remove the set from the PCA pump at all. Just leave it in. And there you are. Simple as that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this a little bit informative. Um, the Flowtrax really is a versatile system, and you can use it well with this Alaris system. It's very exact. And in this case, it shows you problems that are going on with your modules quite, quite literally. Uh, we could export these results if we wanted to and make it so that it's an attachment for a work order. We're not set up here for that, but that's okay. Anyway, guys. Thanks.